what's going on what's going on today youtube um today i'm going to show you guys how to bypass the factory reset protection that's in uh mostly all samsung phones especially galaxies it happens when you factory reset your phone and at the last step they ask you for the email that was previously synced with the device um if you don't know the email that was previously synced to the device then you cannot go further you know it next all you want you can't go nowhere so you're basically stuck that's a new security feature that they have um on there i've seen a lot of videos on youtube showing you how to bypass it different methods but a lot of them don't work anymore um this method right here works completely 100 percent i tried it on four different devices already and it worked flawlessly Today is September 11th, 2016. Rest in peace to everybody that fell on us this day. But um, other than that, let's go ahead and go through it. Only thing you need is this program right here. Real term. I'm gonna have the link in the description. Just download it, install it on your computer. Do not run it, okay? After you have it downloaded and installed on your computer, plug your phone into the computer, okay? So I got the Galaxy S5 right here. Got it plugged into my laptop. And once it's plugged in, then run the program. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me get it in camera view for you guys. Alright. Once the program is run, go to display tab. Click on half duplex okay after that go to port tab my port number is six so after that just hit change your port number might be something different you know that's why plug your phone in before you run this program the next go to send the send tab this is where the magic happens What's going to happen is I'm going to give you guys two commands. They're also going to be in the description. The first command is going to be A T the plus symbol C R E G okay forward slash R O no wait hold up C R E G question mark forward slash R forward slash n. Once you do that, go over here, click on send. It says okay. If you get an error, it's probably because you don't have the SIM card in the phone. It's okay. If you get an error on the first command, just uh just move on to the second command. The second command I'm gonna give you guys is A T D one, two, three, four, semicolon, forward slash R, forward slash N. Now what this is going to do is going to send a command to the phone that's actually going to pull up the dialer on the phone. It's going to pull up the dialer, you know, to where you get the answer the call, hang up the call, messages, or add the contact. When it pulls up the dialer, Hurry up and hit messages, like you're about to send a text message. Messages, hit it. You gotta be quick or it's gonna go back to this screen. Okay, let me show you. So you go back to the computer, you hit send. Just send that command to the phone. Go back to the phone, it's gonna pop up. Now register, hit messages. Once you're there, it's gonna pull up the messages name. Once this is done, once you're here, you don't need a computer no more. You're all set. Just come over here and type in youtube.com. You gotta excuse me, I'm holding this with one hand and typing with the other. youtube.com, then hit send. Once it sends, we're just going to get that URL link right there. That's all we need, just the blue URL link. So you just click on it. Hit OK. It's going to send you to YouTube. 
we're basically going through all these steps because we're just trying to get to the internet once we get to the internet we can download the APK file that we need to bypass the Google security that they have on the phone all right so you come up here to once you're in YouTube you come up here to the three dots on the top go to settings all the way down to about go to Google privacy policy and then it's going to actually open with you know Chrome or internet whichever one you want I'll just go straight to regular internet doesn't matter to me and it's said okay and there you go it pulls up to the internet don't put the private policy just that's where we want to be at this is it guys I mean this is it once you're here you're set just go straight to Google regular Google because we need to look for a couple things um, now what you need to do is just download the APK file first I'm gonna give you the website <clears throat> I'm gonna give you the website in the description but um, I'm gonna type it I'm gonna do it now for you guys everything is step by step this is no BS 100% guarantee working B I T dot D O backslash capital letters F R P stands for factory reset protection sixteen. Then hit go. All right. So I'm gonna take you to four shared so you can download the APK. Just go allow internet access to phone up allow it and start and download. Just go down here, hit download. Now it's actually to download with Facebook, Twitter, Google. I usually download my Google because I'm usually always signed in with my phone, but since we're having the Google security, I'm gonna sign in with Facebook. I'm telling you this is real easy man step by step like doing this right now as we're speaking all right I'm gonna sign in if you guys want to look me up you can look me up I'm on YouTube <laughs> check my password can't show you guys that hold on You get finished typing in your Facebook um, email and password. Just go ahead and hit go. I'm basically, just doing this just so you can sign in on Four Shared. And it's gonna pull up all this other stuff. These little ads. Skip the ads. Go here on the bottom. Just skip. And there you go. You're back to the screen. Just download APK. Free download. Gotta wait a little 20 seconds for it to start. Do 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 we want to go all the way back. So, I'm go all the way back till I get back to Google. Or you can just go back up here and just type Google. Go back to Google. Alright, now we need to go to the Samsung App Store. Alright. We're almost done. We just need to install the APK file that we did. Samsung App Store. Alright. So we go to the Samsung App Store, Samsung Galaxy Apps. The Samsung Galaxy App Store, you need to download the ES File Explorer. Alright, just follow everything that I'm doing step by step. You have no problem. Agree to it. Yeah, you will have to make um you will have to make a free account with Samsung App Store. You just put in your name, email, and make up a password, and that's it. After you do that, you can download whatever app you want. 
but when you get finished, just go ahead and um, look for the ES File Explorer. And right there. Click on it. Come over here, hit download, download it. That's going to ask me to sign in to the Samsung App Store. Samsung account, creator sign in. You just go to create, create one. I already did, so I'm just going to sign in. Show you guys my password. All right. Once you get finished doing all that, sign in. It's gonna start downloading automatically. Accept and download. And download pretty quick. Once it downloads, just open it up. Install that. Install the APK file that you just downloaded. And then you're gonna run it. It's done. Go ahead and open it up. Alright, now ES file explorer. No, I don't want to update nothing right now. Let's go to download. Let you download it. Alright, and this is the APK file, easy FRP bypass. Just click on it, install it. Of course, you gotta go to your settings and check the unknown sources, you should know about all that. If you wanna install this application, install. It's installed, open it up. After that, go to Google Account Login. Up here on the top, go to Browser Sign In. And now, basically, you're all done. You bypassed it. Now you enter in your own Gmail information. Hit next. To sign into your own Gmail, the one that you have now, you know your Gmail and password, you know. Hold on, I'm not going to show you guys my password. Alright, just type in your password and your email, hit sign in. Once you sign in, sign in, sign in. That's gonna take you back there. Once you're back here, that's it, man. You're all done. Just restart your phone. Restart. That's it. Once you restart it, it's just basically gonna be like factory restart with your email and Gmail that you just put in. So that's all you have to do. And that's how you bypass it. Quick, easy, and simple. Alright. Show you guys that it ain't gonna be there no more. Start. Okay, connect to Wi-Fi. Next. And check connection, check connection. It's gonna take a time. It's gonna take some time. But like I said, I'm going, this, going through this step by step, but you guys, no video fast forwarding, no pausing, no skipping. This is one continuous shot. Straight on. Just to show you 100% guaranteed. Checking connection.
Checking connection. It's probably because I got a slow Wi Fi connection, but it's gonna pop up. There we go. Account added. The account that we just made through that app file that we did. Account added. Your first account is ready for use. You can add and remove accounts later in the settings. So you go to next. We're all set. That's it. It's done. Continue setting up your phone how you would regularly set it up after a factory reset. Alright. You guys like this video? Hit the like button. Subscribe. Told you it works 100% guaranteed. Leave a comment. Do whatever you need to do. And uh, also, this video is just for educational purposes only. If you do anything illegal with it, I'm not responsible. So, you know, YouTube don't condone none of that stuff. Oh yeah, I'm still recording it. Come on, wait. Show you guys the whole setup. I got tired of watching a whole bunch of videos that wasn't working. So this video right here I made for you guys. some time but that's it that's the next um that's the email that I signed in with with the app it's already ready actually if you want to add another one right now nope not right now next I want to protect this vice you know put a little pin code or something on there you could I'm not going to do it right now skip it and then when you're here it says restore from this backup you know I'm just going to click here and set up as a new device. Yep. That's it. Man. You're all set. Back up the sink. No. Nope. Next. of T-Mobile, I guess. Let's hit next in a step. There you go. That's how you bypass factory reset protection. Alright. Like, subscribe. Check it out.